Hey, eighth graders, today's assignment is the metric system guessing game. It's a very short, quick assignment, so you guys will be able to finish it up after you guys finish up on the back to school assignment. Um, so it's going to be pretty quick. The biggest thing I want you guys to know about this assignment is in this unit, this is the very first thing we're doing. I don't expect you guys to know this an these answers off the top of your head. Okay, these are guessing answers. Okay, And it's just kind of to give you guys an idea of, you know, how different units can be from the metric system to the imperial system, like inches versus meters. Okay, which obviously we use in America, the imperial system versus everywhere else in the world uses the metric system. And you guys will find that the metric system is a lot easier to use. We're more familiar with the imperial system. Okay, so with that being said, your learning target today, I can use my previous knowledge to make educated guesses of measurement and their conversions between the imperial system and the metric system. So again, you guys are strictly making guesses. I don't care if you get them right or wrong. With that being said, I would Google them either. So I'm gonna go through how to do these really quick. Have you guys pause this video, uh, take some guesses, and then um, when you guys are done, you guys will kind of write how many you got correct out of these. Okay, so let's go ahead, take a look at the first slide. Okay, so for this first slide, slide two. Of course, now it's not going to go for me. There we go. Uh, you guys are just doing a greater than, less than, or equal to. So you guys are going to compare uh, the SI unit, so in this case kilometers, to miles. So if you guys were to go out and run one kilometer, versus one mile, which one do you think would be the greater distance? Remember, however you guys decide to do it, um, the little alligator jaws are going to point towards the larger number. So if you think kilometer is larger, you would put your little jaws towards the kilometer. If you guys think the mile is larger, you guys would put the little alligator jaws eating the mile. Or if you guys think they're equal, you guys would put an equal sign in there. Okay, so you're gonna go through, look at them. Again, this is just a guessing game. I don't want you guys to look this up. I don't want you to ask for help. I just want you to take a guess. And if you're wrong, that's okay you're still gonna get credit as long as you do it. Okay, so just make sure you guys are being honest about that and just guessing. So go ahead, take a second. You guys will do these, one centimeter versus one inch, one degree Celsius versus one degree Fahrenheit, uh, one liter versus one gallon, one gram versus one pound, okay? On the next two slides, you guys are gonna be guessing the actual number. So one thing I want you guys to think about right here is where have you heard 32 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? If you guys are thinking that is the temperature that water freezes, you are correct, okay? That being said, what's the proper number for degrees Celsius? So at what temperature in degrees Celsius does water freeze, okay? Again, these are just guesses. I don't want you guys to look these up. I don't want you guys to do math. I don't want you to even find like a calculator online to do this. I just want you to take a guess and just see how close you are. If you're wrong, you're wrong, no big deal, okay? So go ahead, fill out these. So 6.2 miles, if you run 6.2 miles, how many kilometers that is? If you guys are in cross country or you like to run track or whatever, you guys might know that answer. One gallon is how many liters? A liter is very close to a quart, okay? One ton is how many kilograms? Remember, a ton is about 2,000 pounds. So how many kilograms is, do you guys think is equal to 2,000 pounds? Uh, one meter, if you guys think of a meter stick, it's very close to a yardstick. So if anyone here plays football, you guys might have, know how many feet are in a yard as we use yards to calculate downs and stuff in football. Okay, 100 degrees Celsius. This is kind of similar to the first one we did. Okay, except it won't be water freezing. So think about what the significance of that number might be. 100 kilometers is how many feet? Remember that, uh, yeah, never mind, sorry. Uh, 100 milliliters is how many cups? And 372 grams is how many pounds? So once you guys are done with that, so you'll take a second, pause this video, and once you guys are done, you guys will come back, hit play, and I'll give you the answers again. I'm going to know if you guys are like, oh, I got a 14 out of 14. I don't expect any of you guys to get a 14 out of 14, okay? I don't expect any of you guys to even get like a 10 out of 14 or an 8 out of 14, okay? I expect you guys to miss a lot of these, and that's okay. So go ahead, pause this video, finish up slides 2, 3, and 4, and then we'll go back through and create a gun. All right, so you guys should have just finished two, three, and four, so make sure you guys finish those before you finish watching this video, as I'm going to give you the answers right now, and I want you guys to be honest about how many you missed. It's okay if you guys miss all of them, okay? Totally not a big deal. Just your participation will give you guys a four out of four on this assignment, okay? All right, so first one, uh, one kilometer is less than one mile, so one mile is a further distance to run. One centimeter is less than one inch. Okay, one centimeter, if you guys look at a ruler, one inch is about yay big versus one centimeter is about that big, okay? One degree Celsius is less than one degrees Fahrenheit. One liter is less than a gallon. There's, like I said, liters are about the same size as a quart and there's about four quarts to a gallon. Uh, and then one gram is less than one pound. So all of those are the less than sign there. Okay, for the next page, okay, this is where you guys were actually guessing numbers. 
So 32 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature that water freezes. That's equal to zero degrees Celsius. This is one reason we really like uh, the metric system is because it's a lot easier to remember zero degrees Celsius than it is to remember 32. If you guys go out and run 6.2 miles, you've ran 10 kilometers or what people in cross country might call a 10K. Uh, one gallon is equal to about four liters. Okay, one ton is equal to about 907. Again, I don't expect you guys to be able to guess this dead on, but if you did, great job. Okay, 907 kilograms. So about 2,000 pounds is about 907 kilograms. So you guys can kind of see the difference there. Uh, one meter is about three, uh, three feet, about 3.28, but we'll round down to three. So again, meters very close to a yardstick. There's three feet in a yard. 100 degrees Celsius. This is the temperature at which water boils. So if you guys know this one, Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. 100 kilometers, if you guys were to go out and drive 100 kilometers, you guys have driven about 328,000 feet. Okay, so again, I don't expect you guys to have guessed that correctly. Okay, 100 milliliters is about 0.5 cups, or about a half a cup. And then 372 grams, this number is significant because if you guys like Mountain Dew, there's 372 grams of sugar in a case of Mountain Dew. That is about one pound of sugar. So think about buying a 10 pound bag of sugar and cutting it into 10 sections to 10 pounds. Uh, that's about how much sugar is in a case of Mountain Dew. So kind of gross. So go ahead and add up if you guys got any right at all. That's okay if you didn't. Go ahead and add up how many you did get right. You guys are going to write that in here. And then you guys can go ahead, double check if you've done everything on this assignment, and then go ahead and hand it in. I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.